Ladies and gentlemen, our program will now begin. Please welcome Chairman of the Conference of Presidents of Major American Jewish Organizations, Arthur Stark. Good afternoon. For over six decades, the Conference of Presidents of Major American Jewish Organizations has represented the consensus voice of the Jewish community to the U.S. administration and to world leaders alike. The Conference of Presidents proudly counts APAC among our 53 member organizations. <laughs> Together, we have enjoyed a productive partnership, most recently under the leadership of APAC Chairman Mort Fridman and CEO Howard Kaur. Congratulations also to APAC President Betsy Burns Korn. Betsy, like Mort before her, has been elected to the Conference of Presidents Executive Council, and we look forward to working closely with Betsy as well. And by the way, Betsy, a fabulous speech yesterday, a great call to action. For more than 30 years, the conference has been led by one of the great Jewish leaders of our time the one and only Malcolm Honline. As CEO, Malcolm has shaped history through his visionary leadership. Thank you, Malcolm, for all you have done and continue to do for the Jewish people. We are grateful that Malcolm will continue to provide us with leadership and strategic guidance as he works with our new Chief Executive Officer, William Daroff. <laughs> William is well known to many of you for his vast experience and drive, and we look forward to his resolute leadership. But it, but it is more than these exceptional leaders that makes us strong. Our greatness is manifested in the passion and commitment exhibited by all of you gathered here today. We live in complex times. On the one hand, the Jewish people have never been freer or more influential. At the same time, we face unparalleled existential threats. We experienced this paradigm just three weeks ago when the Conference of Presidents visited Saudi Arabia. In the past, it would have been unthinkable for us to break bread in that land. But this same kingdom shares common cause with Israel as they face a mortal threat at the hands of our mutual enemies, the nefarious Ayatollahs of Iran. Similarly, in January, we visited with the prime ministers of Greece and Cyprus, where the trilateral alliance between these one-time foes and Israel is flourishing so much that other countries are clamoring to join in. Together with them, we face the hostility of Turkey's president and his hegemonic desires to rebuild the caliphate. Yet, with all these threats and more, the greatest challenge we face is our own unity. History has taught us that infighting can be our downfall. We know that far from being a platform for bigotry, APAC is a platform for countering the bigotry that Jews world over are subjected to. <laughs> With all the discussion over the years as to whether we have a partner for peace, right now we must look inside and commit to making peace amongst ourselves in support of Israel. We must set aside our partisan differences and find common ground in support of the U.S.-Israel relationship. We need not be unanimous, but we do need to be unified in our support. The U.S.-Israel relationship is stronger than ever thanks to the efforts of all of you. Together, we will make it even stronger. 
We will make our message loud and clear. We will not slow, and we certainly will not be stopped. My friends, you are the front line. Let us re-engage and re-enlist those who have not yet achieved your level of passion about the state of Israel from both within our faith and from outside. Let us strive to be unified, and together we will achieve new heights. Am Yisrael Chai, thank you.